Um, well, Baz, how are you feeling for this game? Uh, a big game for both sides. How do you see it going? What sort of game should we expect? 8 pm kickoff on a Saturday, which is weird. It's going to be a weird feeling, uh, knowing that all other games have been done and dusted, um, you know, deep into Saturday evening. Uh, yeah, how do you reckon it will go? Well, for, pe- for people like me and you, it's a nightmare kickoff. Um, and for, I should think for the, the, the town fans and travelling and, and a lot of the, the, the whole city fans that don't live in the immediate area, it's a pain in the backside kickoff time. But anyway, um, yeah, I think it'll be an absolute cracker. Uh, it will be a humdinger of a game. Like last night was was a thriller. It really was. Excuse me, against Coventry. They've had um, some, some, some good ones at home at this season. Leicester quite recently they, they tonk the home form has been poor it, it, that's been the Achilles heel this season that is why they're seventh and not sixth or fifth or further up uh but they did beat QPR convincingly last time out at home uh so they'll come into it you know buzzing what I'm really interested to see is how Ipswich approach it because they've obviously had a two week break I've played since the, the draw with Middlesbrough because of Coventry being in the FA Cup you know we thought that after the Leicester game, Hull City having three weeks off because of the, the, so the two-week international break, coupled with Coventry's FA Cup game, we should have played them uh, before the break. We ended up having three weeks off, went to Turkey for a week, a training camp. We thought that was a really good thing for them, but they came back against Stoke. They'd lost all their rhythm, all the momentum they had after they had against Leicester um, and were really flat and disjointed against Stoke on Good Friday and lost. So I'm really intrigued to see if, if Ipswich, having had a, a, a break, if that's been a good thing for them or not, we'll only find out come what ten to ten on, on on Saturday night if it's been if it's been good for them. But you know, from our point of view, hopefully it, it it's, it's been a bad thing. They've lost that you know that kind of rhythm that they've they've had. And you know, City having a, admittedly played on Wednesday night, they will be they will be at it because they know that they you know they've been playing you know whole City have been playing kind of last chance saloon games now probably since the, the, the game at Cardiff um the, the game this the, the first game after Easter Monday they, they they went to Cardiff they saw Norwich play the early game uh, and beat obviously yourselves um they knew that if they didn't beat Cardiff that it was over they beat Cardiff convincingly um and they've been in they've been kind of in in must win mode since then really they've, they've, they've won three and, and drawn two of the last five uh, so that they'll be going into it confident that have it's, it's the final home game of their the regular season. There'll be a it'll be a sellout. The, the crowd will be there and we'll be up for it. So you know, I'm really I'm really hopeful. I, for me, you know, I want them to take it to the final day. They, I think they I think they've had the season that deserves that. I, I, it would be a real shame for Hull City and the players that if if they lost or if they, if they did if they drew against Ipswich and you knew that the final game meant nothing. I think in in the, in the con, no game, no game means nothing. But in the sense of, can they get into the playoffs? Is what I mean. Um, I think that would be a real shame. So yeah, I, I just think it'll be an absolute cracker. Yeah, I think it will be the championship on speed, really. 